Today's video, we're going to show you how to beat the double Mabel defense by utilizing a short corner route in Madden 24. Combining this with a C route, I do think is a great little combo uh, to be able to make the most out of your flood concepts. Now, we're going to be showing this concept out of the uh, Bunch Strong Offset. This is in the Jets and the Bears playbook. If you guys want to get my entire um, Bears uh, offensive ebook, or if you want to get in my entire Jets offensive ebook, both of those are available by joining the Patreon. I'll put a link to that down in the description. Patreon members get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, again, the link's going to be down below. Now, a lot of people kind of standard meta right now that we're seeing is basically a lot of double Mabel. And essentially what double Mabel is, is we're trying to take away the sidelines. And part of the reason why people want to take the, away the sidelines is because they want to be able to force you to have to throw at their user in the middle of the field. Well, the beauty of this route combo is we are just going to essentially throw underneath a 30 yard cloud. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to run this with our bunch to the wide side of the field. We're going to put our tight end on a streak, our running back on a streak, our slot receiver here on a corner route with the slot apprentice or hot route master ability. And then we're going to motion this guy out. So I think this right here, one of the most effective ways in this game to be able to attack the sidelines. What you're going to notice here on the right hand side is this shorter corner route is going to get basically underneath that 30 yard cloud consistently for you to be able to throw against that coverage. Now, the other thing that's kind of neat about this is if you look over here on the left hand side so let's say for example uh your opponent is running some cover four some cover three maybe they're going to use her that right hand side this is where the streak and the c route combo really do uh, a great job of being able to get open consistently against different types of zone coverage i think the c route honestly in man 24 is one of the most underrated routes in the game a lot of people are kind of sleeping on how effective uh this route combo truly is now the other cool part about this is we are running this with our bunch to the wide side of the field so when people run cover three and cover four typically that outside third or outside quarter will cover the corner route but because we have a deeper corner route that that outside third or outside quarter defender has to respect they're always going to go to that slot apprentice corner route and so what that does for us offensively is it allows us to really rely on this short corner route uh, to this outside bunch receiver as you see right here it gets wide open the sideline we're just going to possess and catch that i have the deep out zone knockout ability and it's not able to consistently defend this now another thing that's kind of underrated about this concept in terms of how it applies to uh, double mabel in particularly is we actually have a really good way to attack the seams so it kind of depends on where they where your opponent's user is going to to be at in their defense but a lot of times what you're going to see happen is they might be in a coverage that looks something more so like this and they're going to user that running back seam to the c route a lot of times that's what i see when i use this play so what we have here is we're going to be able to throw the ball to the tight end kind of right in the middle of the field against the cover two coverage. So now they have to respect that. They're going to start to man up the tight end with that yellow zone, which is then going to leave them vulnerable to other stuff as well. Now, I did want to show the C route against a 30-yard cloud. Um, a 30-yard cloud, especially if they back it off, a lot of times it can uh, certainly defend this, this C route. But there are some other things that we can do. One of the things is we can smart route it. It'll make it go a little bit shorter. Uh, on that left hand side and with set feet lead a lot of times you can actually cut this off before it gets to that 30 yard cloud so that's just something to kind of think about um, if you use the c route out of the play double post in the bunch offset that c route is actually one of the more unique ones in the fact that it is a little shallower um, than your standard than your standard c route that you're seeing me use here last thing i want to show you is this corner route to the wide side of the field the uh, slot apprentice corner route to the wide side of the field, specifically against a cover two coverage, it actually can get over the top of a 30 yard cloud, as you can see right there. So this kind of furthers the challenge for your opponent defensively. A lot of times you're gonna get one or two different coverages. If they are base aligned and pressed, typically that means it's gonna be some type of either cover three cloud, cover four drop or cover three. Now, if this was cover three cloud, this is a very, this is why this route to the left is so important. If this was cover three cloud, this is what the coverage adjustments would look like here on the, on the uh, left-hand side. This is kind of a cover three cloud coverage. A lot of people run this. So if they run this coverage, what do we have on the left-hand side? Well, we should have this C route consistently against that coverage. As you see, it's wide open against a standard cover three cloud. However, let's say, for example, that they're running a baseline press cover four drop. If they're running a baseline press cover four drop, this is where your corner routes become super, super advantageous. 
So in this example, now that defender on the left-hand side is actually in an outside quarter. He's not going to stop on that short corner, and you can throw this to the sideline and a lot of times be able to catch it. So a lot of times, even if they get the KO in this game, uh, for some reason they still are actually able to catch it. It's kind of a weird little bug in my opinion. But you also still simultaneously, if they're not putting – they basically have to have two cloud flats. That's, that's the idea. They have to have two cloud flats to defend this, and you can't have the same cloud flat. So let me give you an example of that real quick. So on the right hand side, let's say we let's say we do something like this. This would be an example of a coverage that would stop the short corner, a baseline press cloud flat, even if it's at 30 yards on drop or not. It will typically stop this this uh, short corner. However, there's other routes available. For example, the C route on the left hand side. A lot of times you can throw this over the top. He actually plays it pretty well there. But you could also throw your your other corner route. So we'll show you that uh, real quick. The slot apprentice corner is going to be open against this kind of coverage. So you see here, this is going to be wide open. Actually, Tariq Woolen. That's why you need high, uh, tall corners. Tariq Woolen actually played that incredibly. Let me show it to you one more time. I promise you this this corner on the left side is typically going to be open. The C route actually typically would be open too. I might have just thrown that a little bit early. But you'll see here gets wide open against a, a pressed cloud flat. So they have to do a lot to defend this play, and it's really not easy to stop this. And this is why I think, you know, double corner routes and using C routes, those are very effective ways in this game to be able to attack zone coverage because you can't really stop all of the different options you have with the same zone coverage. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get our entire Jets offensive ebook and take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon. You get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, everything for just $10. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.